Good morning. It is a uh, it is a science science humanity class. This is uh, the second uh, topic, second discussion class after Tuesday class uh, about art. The second art topics uh, today. So uh, I I hope you enjoyed the music. The music is uh, the song and uh, composed by the single songwriter the vicinity. The, he composed uh, the those song. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I took it and uh, together with uh, the work of uh, Kandinsky. The, because Kandinsky Kandinsky would like to represent his uh, the meanings meanings of a feeling and sometimes rationale sometimes idea and reason uh, by defining very different uh, the form, line, point, plane. So if you look at this, uh, this is his work, his painting, the title, the compositions, you can see the couple of dot, couple of line, couple of curve line, couple of plane, and uh, also uh, with the color as well. So uh, then you can see uh, the Kandinsky work. He's an abstract painter, of course, but but he he would like to express this uh, the painting in abstract. But he already defined every single element, including point, line, the plane, and color as well. And after that, he drew this one to tell a story with the music. So if you listen to the music, if you listen to a, uh, the story, then you can the, put those story and the music into some part of his uh, the painting. If you look at the dot, the point, the point means by him from his book of point, line, plane is, is like a, um, the Big Bang is like a Big Bang. The, from the universe, we have a point and the black color of a black hole types of uh, the color, which is black. So everything can be observed into the point. So uh, we call that that point uh, also as uh, nothingness and the great ultimate that we already discussed in, uh, in the topic of death and ultimate uh, the Confucian uh, interpretation. So if you look at the point, if you look at the, the sky at night and darker side of the sky, then we feel, we feel some force to be able to absorb everything, so even light. So physically, the biophysicist, uh, including uh, Albert Einstein, we already know black, black, uh, on color and some black hole absorb even light owing to great uh, the mass in it. So uh, similarly to that, here in painting, in painting of Vasily uh, Kandinsky, point means potential and power to absorb everything. Please look at the right-hand side, that there is a dot. So uh, toward the dot, there are some line with the color, with the line, with a different length, different width. Okay, to extending those, uh, extending those dot, the connecting dot, we have a line. We have a line. So how many lines do we have in this, uh, in this painting? Thin line, thin line. So uh, mm, a thick line, the curved line, the curve, uh, uh, the line with, uh, with uh, some kind of angle, the smooth color, a smooth line has, uh, has uh, from the uh, tangential line, we, have, we can measure uh, angle. So uh, then if you have, if this line has uh, the angle less than, less than 90 degree, 90 degree rectangular, rectangular degree. So he defined those as a youth, youth. Don't sharp one. If you look at obtuse, obtuse, with angle greater than 90, 
degree, he defined those anger to be old, older generation, old, obtuse, the vaguer stuff, not sharp at all. So if you have a color, for example, red color, yellow color, and uh, the green color, black and white. So uh, every color has their meaning in it. So combine everything into this uh, composition painting, painted by Vasily Kandinsky, he would like to tell us a story, a okay, combination of all everything Define, define the base on point, line, plane, and color as well. And then if you look at, if you appreciate, if you appreciate his painting in a museum in Madrid, and then you can play music. So to get the harmony of sounds like orchestra, like a symphony. So what he intended to deliver those, uh, those feeling of information, information of feeling or feeling of information to us. So that's the, that's the way he would like to paint his abstract types of painting, different from other persons, different per, differently from other artists. So what, what could be an uh, intention of his? Vasily Kandinsky through his uh, abstract painting. So if you look at uh, the, the, the Picasso, if you look at other that painting painted by the Korean artist and uh, many other the foreign artists, we actually intuit types of uh, appreciation. We use those one, right? If you look at the portrait of the Mona Lisa, if you look at if you look at the landscape, the painting, drawn by, drawn by Koch, Gogeng, and then we feel some, we get some kind of uh, emotions, some kind of uh, appreciations, the base, the base, the, uh, the feeling out of those painting. Because a painter, painter like uh, Gogeng, Koch, and uh, the Picasso didn't tell anything about his painting, the base on kind of uh, uh, the promise between us. But the Kandinsky is different. I'm not sure exactly his intention, why he defined everything before drawing this type of abstract, but, but after defining everything, the point corresponds to something, line corresponds to something, thin line, as opposed to thick line, curve line, curve line with a different angle has different meanings to be selected by painter, more importantly by, by uh, spectators like us when you visit the museum to see uh, the Kandinsky work. And color as well, the color from red to violet to, to red and uh, the green. So we have a different feeling from his definitions. Of course, we do not necessarily agree with him and his definition with the colors, but color has some kind of uh, the feeling individually. So we have a feeling about that. Some of you, some of you uh, consider green color as beautiful some of you can see the green color as a subtle, frustrated color, or happiness color, consolation color, anger color, despair color. Who knows that? Who knows that? Depending on your uh, preference, depending on your feeling, depending on your experience. But Kandinsky, Kandinsky define, define, Green color as solo color, which could be related to, refer to death, death. So why every uh, the forest and wood has a green color in there? 
according to his uh, interpretation because they are dying. Because they are dying. That's why they exhibit show green color to us. So uh, these types of interpretation remind us uh, of a book uh, written by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, right? The Goethe defined the color as a representative appearance outside or of our skin, rather than the refraction and diffraction types of a light particle couplers we already discussed as opposed to Isaac Newton's, right? So we made the color out of our, out of our uh, sense, uh, sensibility, sense system. Similar to those, uh, Kandinsky defined those one. Why? Why? I believe he would like to communicate with his work of art, with us, with information from his painting. So if you have any consequence and event, if you have a, a situation of a sorrow, of happiness, when you experience some uh, the bad things today, when you see the, this uh, the painting drawn by the Kandinsky, so you feel and you have a you have a, some way, some type to interpret this uh, the painting, to appreciate this painting, to look at this painting, type, way to look at, and sometimes uh, structure you would like to use to analyze and interpret of these paintings. Depending on situation you are at, you are placed at. Now, sometimes after graduation, so you succeed very much. So uh, your, your project hit the bell, very successful. And then uh, look at this, uh, the painting again with a different, different experience because you are at a different situation of happiness and the contentment. So interpretations so based on your feeling would be very different from what you have right now. The probably uh, monotonous and uh, with, with the different tensions, with the different feeling, with the different uh, evaluations, right? So that's the intention, I believe, Kandinsky. The Kandinsky asked us to read his book, to know his definitions, to based on those, uh, we look at that for a couple of minutes, couple of hours even, when you visit Madrid Museum, then write some story based on this painting. If you look at other painting of Kandinsky, you can write a different story based on dot, line, with a different form, with a different structure, intersection of a line, with a different color. So everything uh, so, uh, could be interpreted by him. So uh, he would like to make uh, some uh, combination of a point, line, the plane, to make a form, the formed, the formed from his combination, his painting, and then deliver, deliver information to us to make a story, to communicate subsequently. And then we are connected with Kandinsky. Even if we do not, we do not, and we cannot meet the Kandinsky, Kandinsky already passed away, but different from, different from uh, Picasso and other painters, they were gone, but we can meet Kandinsky different from other painters. So that's the, that's the purpose, I believe, without any specific purpose, but he drew, he drew his painting purposefully, very much to communicate us, communicate with us through information, form, for we already discussed uh, the last Tuesday, right? The form 
from from intuition the beyond the perception so that's the that's the uh, message i believe from kandinsky so if you if you see uh, the next time kandinsky work and please make your own story to tell your friend your the family about kandinsky painter based on his definition okay so uh, like this one his book his book about this one so uh, i'm not going to uh, introduce his book uh, in detail but this is not a the painting class but so uh, please look at this table the, for example, anger, the first acute anger, less than 90 degree. So uh, the destiny he defined those anger as you, like you, not me. Like you, the sharp, young, youth, creative, those stuff that can be extracted from those anger. So color-wise, yellow corresponds to that anger. So yellow color means by Kandinsky, use. So you use your yellow color means that you would like to show your feeling, sharp, creative, to make something new, to renovate some kind of old generation's uh, frame, you would like to break something like that through uh, representing uh, your purpose color in red, a uh, color in yellow. How about the red? Red corresponds to, to playing with anger of right, 90 degree. What can you catch out of this right anger? rectangular anger, reached one, reasonable one. So what he said, Kandinsky said, right anger is about the human's reason, human's rationale. So you would like to show, uh, show from the definition by Kandinsky, other persons about your justice, about your judgment. What could be right? What should be right? What should be wrong? And you can use this uh, this rectangular anger with this uh, with this uh, circular with this uh, uh, square. Okay, square color in red. Color in red. But if you would like to uh, use something smooth, something old, something, something um, traditional with the customs, then you can draw with uh, the angle higher than 90, which can be defined as obtuse angle. With color, you can use blue, blue. So blue grow toward the deeper side of the color to come up with the green. That's why green color by Kandinsky is, is referred to death. So similar to Goethe's uh, definition in his uh, theory of color. Okay, so that's the, that's the way Kandinsky defined the color and point plane and the line as well. You also mentioned lines make a plane lines make a play. It's obvious, right? So you draw color, you draw color when you would like to make a play. And here are other persons uh, to, to support the Kandinsky work, Kandinsky idea to represent the world by using point, line, plane, and color. The who is, who is, Anthropologist uh, Tim Ingold, Tim Ingold, in his book, in his book, uh, I don't remember his book, but here somewhere 
해적 두 군. 오케이. 오케이. So uh, I will let you know a little bit later. So he said, he said, things, the thought, do not just exist as a lightness object. But they carry on along their lives. So every, every relationship, every relationship in the world that can be achieved by lie, according to Tim Ingold. He said the lie. So we have to understand the line between the people, between the city to city, between the cities, between the countries. We can draw without any object without any object. So uh, we, may, we may think of when he, when he imagined the relations between the Korea and the US, Korea and uh, Joseon, Korea and Japan, the Korea and the China, we always uh, make some kind of a, uh, some object the, from China, from US, from the Korea, from uh, Japan, Right? So uh, the, then we can think of the summit the, between president of the Korea, the president of the US. But the Ingold suggests instead line, lines between two countries, two, two, uh, two, two relationships. So when we draw properly, lines between the two, then we can understand, we can understand fully in the right way, relations between two countries, two persons, any relationship to be considered. Okay, please refer to what uh, Tim Gold referred to. Would you like to mention, would you like to deliver his message to us through lines, so everything, that can be explained by lines. So the then, the based on definition, based on definition uh, done by Kandinsky and the Tim Ingold. Please look at again. So this chapter, this cathedral, Catholic Church. So inside the, in, in, inside the cathedral, please look at this again. After understanding, after accepting definition from both the Kandinsky and Ingold, how many dots in there? How many lines? How lines draw each other to connect each other to make this a structure of a building and architecture to achieve his uh, the goal of archi architecture to make a people to worship, worships the presence of God. If you visit once again, so the different, different temple, Islamic, the mosque, so uh, the architecture try to shape, shape the architecture of the doors, uh, the building, based on, based on those types of uh, form, forms of a point, lines, and a plane with color as well, okay. So then we have a different, uh, inter different we, we, we uh, might have different ways to look at this uh, the structure. We might have a different type, type of our understanding with these types of architecture. We have a structure of our understanding and accepting uh, the meanings of this architecture designed by architect as an artist. With these types of form, with the form as a type, as a way, as a structure, they would like to communicate with us, right? Communicate with us, even if they pass away already, but they, they left this, uh, these types of architecture, painter, 
with point, line, plane, and color to be combined to deliver their information based on forms. So they still, they are still communicating with us from this artistic work, work of art. So again, so uh, we are living in society. We would like to contribute to our society. Then we would like to communicate with other person. Otherwise we are isolated completely. So we don't have any, any way to contribute to our society. Okay. At least we click, right? Smartphone, at least we click. Who designed the click? Who designed the iPhone's information? So US people, UK persons, the Samsung. And then we use those one to generate our own form, but those form guided by, guided by other persons, other organizations, other company, other government, other individuals. And then if you design a certain uh, structure type through, through sign, through uh, the languages, so you guide some person to use your guideline to make a form, to be uh, transformed into information, to be uh, communicated, to make a, a system through communication. Sometimes after graduation, even, even during uh, the college life, college activity, you can make your own platform, you can make your own structure, you suggest the types, ways to be used to other person where they select and they, they contribute to make a form based on your guideline on the platform as code, coded platform, okay? And then we can communicate based on, upon your design the platform. So uh, please look at this cathedral. This is a platform, right? Platform. How many code do they have? When you visit uh, the temple, when you visit cathedral, when you visit uh, mosque, Islamic mosque, so they delicately in detail designed those every structure so that, so that you select some form. Okay. So you behave like it. You behave and you, you look up, you raise your hand toward the ceiling, toward the vault of this structure. Everything can be combined as a form, the forming form to become information, information Okay, get out of this structure, get out of this platform as code, get out of this, uh, this, uh, this uh, um, factory to produce, uh, the, produce a form, okay? The people make a form, people make a form because they like it the based on their preference, based on their the feeling and sense and then deliver to other persons to make a huge amount of a form. Okay, so that's the communication we define already. So in art, with art, so we would like to emphasize, we would like to emphasize work of art to make a communication possible through form instead of, instead of a, instead of a concept, instead of a knowledge as in a science communication, the, for example, publication, but in, in art, we, we retard our the perception generated from our sense to make form, right? So that's the very important things with the different things. So art, what is art once again? What is art? Art to transform immediate to mediate. So this is very important, I believe. 
So uh, please look at the first word, immediate. What do you mean by the immediate? The Korean, Korean, uh, 즉시, 즉가, without any hesitation, without any uh, lack time. We see, we respond. We smell, we respond. You touch, you respond. Almost uh, spontaneous at the same time. That's the immediate. But mediate, what do you mean by the mediate? Mediate, so we, we respond, respond a little bit later. After we touch it, we, after we uh, sense it, that's the mediate. By, by help of, help of medium. We use, this, we use some media to mediate. Mediate means so uh, when you touch, there are one point. When we when you respond, there are point. Between two points, between two points, there are distance. There is a distance. To connect these, we need medium, right? The bridging, bridging two, which is media. So uh, we mediate by using media to connect to point. Each point represent when it sense, when it responds. So we, we throughout retard our perception. After we touch, after we smell, after we see, after we sense, we use media, media before we respond. That's the mediate one. So art basically transformed the med immediate to mediate. What media? What media are possible to mediate our perception? Painting, sound, painting sound, language for example. You see and you use your language in Korean language and English language to express those one. So we mediate our feeling, our emotion to express to other persons, we use language. So that's the, the mediate as well. That's the mediate as well. But in art, in art, so we can use language, of course, but other than language, we would like to bring into this communication. So we communicate through mediations, mediations. Mediation already guided by other persons, other government, other institutions, other instrument. So you feel something, you'd like to show your feeling to your friend. What kind of medium are you using right now? Instagram, painting, telephone, letters, computer email, right? But if you design the different media, then you contribute newly, completely to make other forms. So through, through Instagram and Kakao Talk, so we make a lot of form, right? So forming occur through our Kakao, through our Instagram, through our Facebook, through our letter email, but designed by other person to make a form, the form converted to big data. So we already mentioned in art. So we can make our own medium. We can make our, our own medium, your own medium to design your business model, to design your scientific tools. So to mediate the person's communications. So you deliver, you design, your guided medium, your guided medium, medium, transfer other person's information to another person's. So that's the that's the art, I believe. But art should be should be based on aesthetic. So of course, so that's the important thing to, to be 
to be a keeping mind. So that's the, the medium, mediate should be through media. Okay, so what, what could be medium to happiness, hope, and consolation? What could be the best way to deliver, to transfer our happiness? Right now, imagine you are very happy right now. You would like to your happiness to, to, uh, to be delivered to your the best friend in a different, different country, different city. What could be your tool to deliver your happiness to your friend, your friend and your parents right now? Please imagine. What kind of media do you have to deliver your happiness? Why not? Why not you design your own media? Instead of, instead of Insta, instead of Facebook, Facebook, instead of Kakao, you can design your own. I suggest you are a scientist, you are a business person, you are an engineer. We have everything to do that. Why not design our own? instead of using already existing media to produce their big data. So uh, with, your, with your own uh, design of a medium, you can make your own, your own big data, Korean big data, your own big data, your circles uh, big data, and then will be planted in whole big data in the world. For example, uh, the Googles has it. The Googles so, uh, the show their, their instinct to earn money out of those, uh, their the platform as code, right? So they use code to be used by, by the public in the world. And then they would like to utilize, they would like to utilize those structure or platform, right, to make money. So they show their, their efforts right now. So from broadcasting yesterday, they start to charge everything, right? So that's the why. So uh, throughout this whole class, I always uh, suggesting us, including me, including you, including you, including you, we had a better design our own. Instead of just making instrument, handphone, like a Samsung. And the, something beyond, something beyond those, we can make our own horizons by, by building uh, even very s small, small gate, small gate, and then the small gate enable data flow from our guided platform as code, coded platform. And one of you asked me the coded platform and platform as code is the same exactly. So I, I defined those one because so uh, on, the, uh, on, on the platform, we select based on code. We select based on code to generate the data so that's why I define those one platform as code or coded platform. Those are same. You you already asked me through email. So that's the that's the my intentions. Why not? Why not? Why not? And please have uh, please have our own. So that's the my my purpose. Okay. So please look at this one. We already uh, look at this sentence definition of uh, artwork, work of art, employ, occupy our perception with our sense. That's the immediate, right? So we already uh, differentiate what immediate as opposed to mediate is. So here in, here in uh, perceptions, we have an uh, immediate. We have an uh, immediate. So employee, employee perception exclusively for the purpose of letting the observer participate in the communication of invented form. 
invented form is invented form is immediate one. So we would like to transform by using of our artwork the from immediate to immediate. So the, those one uh, defined by Nicholas Luhmann, a sociologist, in his book titled Art as a Social System. So, uh, so we are discussing about art, but looks like uh, others as well, science, engineering, and many other uh, communications as well. But art has art has characteristics which can by identify and signify by this uh, character, by this uh, quality of a distinction. To be art communication, to be art communication, your form should be distinct. What is distinct? By definition, distinct means, distinct means, distinct uh, include the character of excellency, difference, and the possible to be selected. Your, your term project, if your term project is distinct, distinct, what do you buy that? I can see very charming one, attractive one in your term project. Thus, your achievement with your term project is uh, the different from other persons. Without your name, when I read your uh, report, when I see your report, and then I can easily recognize the who wrote, who make, the, the make this uh, the report. That's the distinction. So we can, we can define the those one not bounded by specific feature of language, okay? You can, you can write, you can use language as well, but you can use a different one. For example, here are a couple of examples. To be distinctive with your uh, work of art, gesture, not the standardized, standardized. You, you, uh, show some uh, gesture, you some show gesture, and other persons recognize you without any, without any uh, information about you. You show gesture, you show your feature, you show your color combined with uh, other features of other gesture, then everyone recognize you. That could be distinction. That could be distinction with your art of work. And also in the forms of a prov provocation, provocation, provocative, your, your, um, your um, showing, your representation could be provocative to other persons and a contextually, contextual highly as well. Context means you show something surrounding others. So let me give you an example of this one. The first one, gesture. So a uh, long time back to the Olympic game, there were racisms on there. So African-American uh, athlete, when achieving gold medal, he raised right hands, right? To show, to show what? Something or a symbolic, uh, the symbolic behavior against the racism, okay? They raise right hand. So do you remember our athlete, Korean athlete against Japan when we uh, conquered by Japan the Song Gi-jung as a lit got the Nobel, got the gold medal the, from the marathon. What could be 
what could be his uh, distinctive gesture? Distinctive gesture. Do you remember? So he showed his gesture to show his distinct distinction in artistic way. Okay. And that's the gesture types of artwork. And secondary, in the form of provocation. So do you remember Copenhagen in Denmark? The group of, group of students with a circle the brought the dirty water adjacent to river to the other seminar room where the faculty and professor got a meeting. And after apologizing first in advance, the students spread the dirty water on the top of the, uh, the professor, right? So we already know that uh, the occurrence event. So that's the provo provocation, provocative behavior and action against something to show their distinction. The bankruptcy, do you know bankruptcy with his out of work, graffiti, graffiti on the wall to show prov provocative, uh, the feature representation. Have you seen the movie of Wizard of Ours? Wizard of Ours, right? So uh, the Dorothy, Dorothy wear, wear silver color, silver color of shoes on the yellow brick load. What do you mean by that? So nobody recognized those, but but the director, director of that movie, Wizard the Bars, would like to criticize, criticize um, the capitalism, the based on, based on gold standard money. So at that time, the, the, against the Lu uh, the policy of economic in U.S because they experienced uh, depression at that time. So director of this movie would like to show contextual. What about the contextual? Combination of words, combination of object to show meaningful action against the something they would like to oppose. So they would like to, through the color of the shoes of Dorothy, Dorothy wear in the color of a silver. So they would like to uh, insist the importance and uh, significance of the silver color, silver, silver, silver standard money against the gold standard money. Okay. So those types of that, I believe a work of art to communicate in the forms of provocative feature and symbol and sign. Okay. So uh, participation one, participation one. So I already asked you on Tuesday class, but once again here, so please give, give me one example of a work of art, which you experienced most recently, but so uh, on Tuesday, some of you gave a movie and theater and dance, but a little bit more specific. Give me example, a little more specific in detail, narrow down to words, okay? So based on our discussion, we did this work of art to communicate. So communicate with other persons through forms to be transformed into information but you should be, you should be uh, distinctive. Okay, please. Thank you. Hey, thank you. So here we are another example I would like to show you. So I propose a physics standard money, Dong Boni Hape. Dong Boni Hape. I already suggest you, I explained a little bit. 
right? So uh, with this uh, physics standard money, physics standard money. So one person's one person out of a one person's pool, one person's pool, we have a value through bioenergy, through saving of water, through a fertilizer composite, then we designate 10 good, 10 good a day per person. With that, with that the value designated to one person's put a day, then we we evaluate, we make all other the price of a product and service. I believe this one is kind of a form, kind of a form to make the price for all other products and services. When you visit the market, they sell you the vegetables and egg and fishy and even milk with a different price, the base, the depending on the market. So we can, we can make, we can make a newly forms from different market, different, uh, different persons, uh, different institutions. So uh, we make our culture to form price based on our uh, standard of the, uh, the value, the based on this standard money. I believe this is making the form to communicate to other persons with the price. So you place one cup of coffee with a tankul, the other person's price, a cup of coffee, 20 gul, the other person's five gul, with a different price, because they believe, they believe the value of the one cup of coffee correspond to different amount of the value out of our pool through bioenergy, which is methane and water and the fertilizer, right? So those behavior, behavior combined into, into information to communicate each other with this FSM. So I propose FSM, but everyone, if everyone participate in this, in this system, then, then we can make a form, we can make a form based on our perception, mediated one, perception mediated one. That's why I believe this is uh, out of a walk. So nobody actually guided one. Nobody guided one, but we guided ourselves based on our judgment of a value. The from one person's pool, one person's pool. And then we design I propose our physics standard money disappear. So uh, no, no other money, no other credit, no other uh, the money disappear right now. If you look at dollar, if you look at Chinese yuan, the Korean won, the Bitcoin, other cryptocurrency, never disappear unless you use, unless you donate, unless you give away. It's always there because you obtained those one. But with the FSM, as time goes on, step by step, minus 7% per day after one month, all the money you obtained today disappear. Okay, so I designed this FSM money in natural way. So I believe when person accept this one, then we can form the new order, new culture, new information to be exchanged between us in a system of economics. Then, then we can communicate. From this uh, disputing money and the pricing, 
pricing uh, the product and service differently, which come up with uh, the form to be a uh, data, to be data, and then we can make some new forms of information. With those information, we have a system. Okay, we have a system to communicate in different, in different created forms. So that's the that's the I believe those everything could be out of work. So art, make a form by making a delimit. De so uh, the science, by the way, instead of making form, but disclosure, find the form from the nature's complex. Please look at the difference. Art, what could be art of work to communicate? Make a form, right? Make a form. But the science and find the form. After finding form, to make information out of this, uh, out of that, this closeness, and then deliver to other persons. But those are form, those are form from nature's complexity. I already mentioned uh, the science form, scientific form, and artistic form should be different, but out of nature's complexity, the base on with art, the beauty, with the science, the base on, base on law, okay? But we can, we can combine these two to compose and the complete nature in the end. So we believe artistic, uh, artistic making form is also in a good agree with the scientific effort because we believe those one from the evidence we have to survive in the future still. Okay. Otherwise, we do not survive at all. That's the evolution theory by the nature. Nature select us, nature human. Even, even though we are mistaking and uh, abusing, abusing the form right now with the plastic, for example, with the food, for example, with the drug, and many others we are abusing to deteriorate the nature. But we have other, other feeling, other perception. We start from perception, mediate those one to resist those the trend out of our uh, the bad instinct, bad avarice. So we guide some structure and platform as code to correct the human behavior resulted from humans, devil types of a spirit, avarice, the bad instinct as well, with the plastic, with the climate change issues, uh, the consumptions, sometimes real estate, the from, from socialism, so from uh, capitalism, so whatever that is. So uh, the form, okay, is very important. Without respect to art and science, can be formed, can be made through our, through our um, design design, plan performance code to be uh, the communicated. So at the end, so we transform our, our form into, into something so that they penetrate narrow, uh, narrow gap to open toward the, toward the future. That's why I, I, uh, I ask you to write your term project to announce new future from your side based on your design based on your form, based on your, um, the concept in scientific way, in artistic way as well. How you prepare yourself to preferentially by designing new platform as code 
to guide other persons to transform themselves into into right way okay because we are we are suffering from many uh, different difficulties such as climate change pandemic situations wealth so inequality discriminations the gender issues the food the water shortage in african countries with especially children how you transform those every bodies and uh, the spirit in artist way to guide them guide us guide me and guide you mm, transform their forms their forms into right way in both way of a science and and art okay then we can design the platform where people's uh, generating their forms to be combined under the system through communications to to make our society new for the future that's the that's the autumn project okay so uh, i can explain in korean so uh, some of you uh, ask me through email so 여러분 그 어, 텀 프로젝트가 어떤 내용이냐면 오늘 좀 얘기를 드렸지만 우리가 지금까지 쭉 얘기해 온 것들이 시스템이 중요하고 시스템 속에서 우리가 어, 커뮤니케이션 소통을 하는 것이 결국 우리를 바꾼다라고 얘기를 여러 번 드렸고요 어떻게 해야 되냐라는 거죠 그래서 이제 우리가 사이언스도 어, 공부를 했고 그 다음에 이번 주는 아트를 공부했죠 좀 진도가 다 나가지 못해서 죄송한데요. 어, 그런데 이제 이것에 통해서 어떻게 필요하냐라는 거죠. 사이언스에서는 우리 주로 데이터나 컨셉을 많이 이용했잖아요. 그죠? 그래서 이게 그, 그 자연이 가진 그 복잡하지만 철저하게 들어맞는 우리가 음, 에볼루션 시어비, 시어비, 진화 이론에 딱딱 맞아 떨어지는 우리가 모를 뿐이지 엄밀한 그 법칙들이 엄연하게 다 있다라는 게 아인슈타인의 주장이었죠. 예, 그런 것에 우리가 접근하려면 어떻게 해야 되느냐라는 거죠. 그게 우리가 가장 믿는, 가장 믿고 있고, 그 정당화도 믿고, 바른 길을 믿는 플랫폼, 특히 어떤 기호를 가진 플랫폼, 사람들한테 어떤 선택을 줄지, 에너지 같은 경우에도 정부가 하는 대로 시키는 것, 정부가 잘못한다는 얘기를 내가 얘기하는 것이 아니라, 대중들 차원에서 어떻게 어, 의견들이 자연스럽게 모여지면서 그 자연스러움이 결국 옳은 길을 택할 수 있는지 빅데이터가 누군가의 사익을 채운다든지 기업의 이익을 채우는 것이 아니라 공공 목적과 대중의 어, 이익으로 가기 위해서는 어떤 음, 그 방향의 플랫폼을 가지고 코드화가 되고 데이터가 만들어지고 이제 그것이 쌓여갈 때 그게 사회 질서화 되느냐 라는 걸 물어본 거고요 이제 아트 측면에서는 어떻게 어떤 형성이 되는 거죠 그게 이제 타입이라고 했죠 어떤 어, 형식 어떤 길 어떤 구조 이런 것들이 우리가 사람들이 가장 아름답다고 믿는 우리의 감각 기관에 믿어서 가장 아름답다고 믿는 것 우리의 마음이 가는 것참 이뻐 보이고 아름답게 보이는 미학적 요소를 가지고 뭔가 데이터가 형성되는 그 플랫폼이 형성될 수 있는 음, 그 길은 무엇이냐 라는 거죠 그래서 이두 가지를 우리 시스템이라든지 인간의 존재 다음 우리가 생각의 방법 이런 것들을 잘할수 있는 잘 이끌 수 있는 가이드를 할수 있고 음, 그게 이제 법이라든지 규범 법칙 뭐 등수를 매기는 학점과 같은 기호가 아니라 대중들이 자연스럽게 자기들의 마음 가는 대로 아름다움에 이끌려서 선하다고 믿는 이런 것들로 막 하다 보면 이것이 바른 길로 갈수 있는 플랫폼이 어떻게 만들어질 수 있고 그 플랫폼 하에서 여러분이 믿는 인류의 가장 이상적인 미래는 어떤 것이다 이런 것을 한번 설계해 보는 게텀 프로젝트입니다 좀 어, 턱 와닿지가 않고 하지만 
뭐 고민을 여러분이 해봐 주시면 좋을 것 같아요. 여러분이 얼마 정도 고민을 한지 제가 그것을 평가를 하, 하고자 하는 것이고 또 평가보다는 제가 원하는 건 여러분이 그런 고민들을 짧은 기간이나마 한 번쯤 하는 것과 하지 않는 것이 어, 음, 다를 수 있다. 라고 제가 믿기 때문에 여러분한테 그런 레포트를 어, 드렸습니다. Okay, so uh, this is a summary with your term project in Korean because you ask me through email and other persons as well. Okay, any questions?